Hello friends, welcome to Tech Electric. Myself Piyush and I welcome you all to the special lecture series of MCQ preparation. In today's session, we will cover MCQ based on the topic three phase induction motor. So let's get started right away. Question 1. Frame of induction motor is made of option A silicon steel option b cast iron option c aluminum and option d copper so the correct answer is option b cast iron question number 2 which is true for slip ring induction motor option a low cost option b less size option c less starting torque and option d high starting torque so as we know that slip ring induction motor has high cost more size and high starting torque so first three options are wrong the correct option is option 4 that is d slip ring induction motor has high starting torque next question question 3 number of slip rings in squirrel cage induction motor is option a 0 option b 1 option c 2 option d 3 squirrel cage induction motor does not contain slip rings Therefore option A is the correct answer. Fourth question the frequency of rotor is obtained by option A F option B S into F option C S option D F divided by S. So the correct answer is S into F where S is the slip and F is the supply frequency. Question 5 starting torque of induction motor is proportional to option a v option b v square option c v divided by 2 and option d 2v the expression of starting torque is given as tst equals to k phi s e2 square r2 divided by r2 square plus x2 square as we can see in the expression the starting torque is directly proportional to e2 square that is the supply voltage that is option b in the expression v square Question six: The slip of induction motor is generally option A, zero to one percent; option B, two to five percent; option C, ten to twelve percent; and option D, fifteen to twenty percent. So the correct answer is two to five percent. Question seven: Maximum speed of two pole induction motor cannot be. Is note that cannot be. Option A. 750 rpm option b 1000 rpm option c 1500 rpm and option d 3000 rpm so if we calculate the synchronous speed and s is equal to 120 f upon p the supply frequency is assumed as 50 the synchronous speed will be around 3000 rpm we know that induction motor always runs below the synchronous speed so the speed at which the induction motor cannot run is option d that is 3000 rpm question 8 in terms of slip ratio of rotor copper loss to rotor output is option a 1 minus s option b 1 minus s divided by s option c s divided by 1 minus s and option d s so this is the relation between rotor copper loss and rotor output which is given by s divided by 1 minus s So the correct option is option C. Question nine: Four forty volt, fifty hertz, six pole induction motor has speed of nine fifty rpm. Then slip of motor is option A one percent, option B five percent, option C three percent, and option D ten percent. As we know that the formula for synchronous speed is N S is equal to one twenty F upon P. the frequency is assumed as 50 and the motor is of 6 pole so the synchronous speed will be 1000 rpm the formula for slip is ns minus n divided by ns if we compute the slip it will be 0.05% we want this in percentage therefore the correct answer is option b that is 5% next question question 10 If rotor of motor is stand still, then value of slip is option A zero, option B point five, 
option C 0.75 and option D 1. So at standstill condition, speed will be 0. If you put this value in the formula, S is equal to NS minus N divided by NS. The speed of motor at standstill will be 0. So it will be equal to NS divided by NS that will be equal to 1. So the correct answer is option D 1. Next question, question 11. Which of method can be used for speed control of induction motor? Pole changing method, frequency changing method and cascade method. And the fourth option is all of the above. As we know that all these three methods are employed for the speed control of induction motor. So the correct answer is option D, all of the above. Question 12. Rotor resistance method of speed control is used for Option A. Squirrel cage induction motor Option B. Slipping induction motor Option C. Both of above And Option D. None of above So the correct answer is Option B That is Slipping induction motor Question 13. Induction motor has maximum power factor at Option A. 25% load Option B. At full load Option C. At 50% load And Option D. At 75% load so the correct answer is option B at full load. Question 14. Direction of three phase induction motor can be changed by option A reducing load, option B changing two phases, option C reducing frequency and option D reducing voltage. So the correct answer is option B that is changing two phases. By changing the two phases, the direction of rotating magnetic field is reversed. Therefore, the direction of Rotor of three phase induction motor also reverses. Question 15. If supply frequency of induction motor increases, speed will option A remain same, option B increases, option C decreases, and option D zero. We know that the synchronous speed is given as 120 F upon P. As you can see in the equation, NS is directly proportional to F. So if supply frequency increases, that will result in the synchronous speed to increase. We know that if synchronous speed increases, then rotor speed will also increase. So the correct option is option B. That is, the speed will increase. Question 16. Torque of induction motor is proportional to Option A. Flux Option B. EMF Option C. Both of above And Option D. None of above We know that torque is given as K phi S E2 square R2 divided by R2 square plus S X2 bracket square. So in the equation you can see that torque is directly proportional to flux as well as EMF. So the correct answer is option C both of above. Question 17. Maximum starting torque of induction motor is obtained when option A R2 equals to X2. Option B, R2 equals to Sx2. Option C, R2 is equal to S divided by X2. Option D, SR2 is equal to X2. So the correct answer is Option A, R2 is equal to X2. Question 18. Maximum running torque of induction motor is obtained when? Please focus that.
ऑप्शन ए हाइस्ट इफिशियंसी ऑप्शन बी हाइस्ट इफिशियंसी विद मिनिमम कॉस्ट ऑप्शन सी हाइस्ट इफिशियंसी द मिनिमम कॉस्ट विद मिनिमम वैल्यू एंड ऑप्शन डी हाइस्ट इफिशियंसी द मिनिमम कॉस्ट अ मिनिमम वैल्यू विद मिनिमम मेंटेनेंस ऑल द स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट बट द मोस्ट करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज हाइस्ट इफिशियंसी मिनिमम कॉस्ट विद मिनिमम वैल्यू एंड मिनिमम मेंटेनेंस क्वेश्चन 22 The good power factor of an induction motor can be achieved if the average flux density in the air gap is option A infinity option B large option C absent and option D small so the correct answer is option D that is small question 23 an induction motor is option A self starting with high torque option B self starting with zero torque option C self starting with low torque and option d not self starting we know that induction motor is a self starting motor so the answer is among the first three option but at the starting starting condition torque cannot be zero so b option is wrong so it is eliminated so between option a and c induction motor is self starting but at starting it produces low torque therefore the correct answer is option c question 24 In three phase squirrel cage induction motors option a rotor conductors are kept open option b rotor conductor ends are short circuited through slip rings option c rotor conductors are short circuited through end rings and option d rotor conductors are connected to insulation as we know that rotor is a closed circuit so it cannot be kept open so option a is eliminated also rotor conductors cannot be connected to the insulation In squirrel cage induction motor there is no way a slip rings will be there so the correct option is option C that is rotor conductors are short circuited through the end rings question 25 in which of the following region induction motor operation is stable option A low slip region option B high slip region option C any of the two and option D none of the above as you can see in the figure the induction motor operation is stable between this period this period is a low slip region so the correct option is low slip region that is option a this period shows the stable operation of the motor question 26 if an induction machine is run at above the synchronous speed it acts as option a synchronous motor option b synchronous generator option c induction generator and option d none of the above the torque speed characteristics of the induction motor is shown in this figure as you can see in the figure if the induction motor is run above the synchronous speed it goes in the generating region so the motor will act as a induction generator so the correct option is option c question 27 If the supply voltage of a three phase induction motor is increased two times then torque is option A increased four times option B decreased four times option C increased twice and option D remain the same as you can see in the equation the torque is directly proportional to E2 square so if the supply voltage is increased two times then the torque will also increased by four times if you place 2 here then 2 square will be 4 therefore the torque will increased by 4 times so the correct answer is option a question 28 the conditions of an induction motor at no load resemble those of a transformer whose secondary is option a short circuited option b open circuited option c supplying a variable resistive load and option d none of the above so the condition given is no load so it will act as a transformer whose secondary is open circuited so the correct option is option b question 29 the maximum torque of a three phase induction motor during running condition is dash dash option a inversely proportional to the rotor reactance at stand still option b inversely proportional to the supply voltage option c directly proportional to the resistance option d none of the above we know that maximum torque is given as tm equals to k e2 square divided by 
2x2 where x2 is the standstill reactance which is inversely proportional to maximum torque so the correct answer is option a inversely proportional to the rotor reactance at standstill question 30 the torque spread characteristics of a three phase induction motor is similar to that of dash dash option a dc series motor option b dc shunt motor option c dc differentially compound motor and option d dc cumulatively compound motor so the correct answer is option b dc shunt motor both dc shunt motor and three phase induction motor are almost constant speed motors so this was all about the mcq on the topic three phase induction motor if you want to download the pdf of mcq and its solution you can join the telegram group the link is given in the description go check it out and download the pdf for your future studies if you have any query or doubt regarding the mcq taken in today's session you can ask them in the comment section i will try to reach out to you as soon as possible that's it for today's session if you like the video hit the like button and share the video with your friends for more such content related to electrical engineering subscribe to tech electric and press the notification bell icon for receiving updates of latest videos from our channel thank you